Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today we're going to go ahead and get into doing a math haul. So, the reason the video took so long to get up was because I was waiting for things that I'd ordered to come in. They finally showed up. So yeah. Oh, and if you're wondering about what's on my face, it's part of my Ipsy review of what I got this month in Ipsy. And go ahead and look over if you're curious about how the look came together. It's primarily all Ipsy products, except for a few things that are MAC. And I think that's it. Everything else I got through Ipsy. So I went to the store initially to look at the Cinderella collection, which of course naturally they were sold out. They only had it online for like two days after I had gotten back uh, from the store. So when I was in the store, I swatched things like you do and I picked up things that naturally I needed. Like I have bought a brush cleanser. Um, I bought a new mascara. This one's the really cool one where you pull it out and it has tons of excess product on this and then you unscrew the, the blue part and it's the perfect amount for doing bottom lashes and top lashes. Which I actually really like this. I used it for my show. The only thing I have to say is it clumps really bad but that's to be expected with MAC mascaras. Then I picked up Ruby Woo which this is a very, very pretty orangey red. Everybody should have one in their collection. And then I picked up one more thing, which hold on. I also picked up a pan eyeshadow. This one is in Beauty Marked, and it's just a very, very pretty black red. It's black with purple, I mean, black with purple shimmer, not red. And it's a very, very pretty color. It's permanent, it's in their full line, I just, Every time I'd gone to MAC, I'd avoided buying it, and I figured, why not? I mean, they didn't have the collection I wanted to buy from, so might as well spend the money somewhere else. So yeah, those are the things I physically got in store. So the brush cleanser, the lipstick, and the mascara, and then the one pan eyeshadow. Um, so then my order came in a few days later for the MAC stuff. It came in its traditional sort of black MAC, MAC box, and... I mean, and it came wrapped in the black tissue like normal. Nothing was out of the ordinary whatsoever. Everything came in the normal little Mac box. Everything was wrapped in its black tissue as normal. So I wanted to, in essence, I wanted to pick up these things purely because I own some of the full size of the Mac pigments. And the truth is they're, they're big. I'm never going to use them all, and I find that I don't want to ever pack them because they are so, they take up space that I could use other things in. So I went ahead and I picked up some of the MAC pigments, which these, these are permanent. There's nothing limited edition about the ones that are in the, this box. So I picked up the MAC pigments, like I have them in Melon, and here, I'll just hold them up if I can get my hand to want to hold them all. Um... So I have Melon and I have, I mean, I bought all the ones that they currently have on their site. So like I have Melon, which I kept saying. I have Kitsmas. I have Old Gold, which is one of my favorites. I have it in a big size too. Um, Violet. I got Vanilla, which is a very, very pretty iridescent kind of rainbowy white. Um, Blue Brown, which this is also very, very pretty. And then Naked. Then I also picked up another pan eyeshadow. This one is in Brown Down. Um, I needed a more matte brown, which I never actually ended up using, but I needed one. And yeah, I'm happy that I got this. Um, now, I had ordered something that was back-ordered, and I wasn't actually expecting to get it. Because the day I ordered it was the day they took it off the site, and I just wanted one piece from this collection. This is from back in Christmas. So, I ordered one of these. This one is the Rose and Pink. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the Pink and Rose, the Objects of Affection. So this was like their pretty French Rococo collection from Christmas. And I'm sure you've seen this a thousand times. It has the five pigments in it. 
well, four pigments and glitter in it. And they're very pretty. I just, it was along the theme of me just wanting the pigments in general. So I picked it up and I, the box is actually very, very nice. And it doesn't, mine's not shedding too much glitter, which I had read that some people hated about the boxes. So yes, I picked this up, which I was very, very excited to receive. Right now, I know these, when, as of filming this video, I know that they still have the palettes from the collection still on their website. How long that's going to last, I don't know. But they have the eye palettes and they have a couple of like the, the lipstick, eyeliner, mascara palettes up there too. So yeah, I got all of these. The glitter is very, very pretty. It's semi, I mean, you need a glitter base. It's sheer otherwise. But the rest of the colors are very, very gorgeous to look at. They're all shimmer. There's not a matte one in the house at all. And there's one of those little air freshener things. So yeah, I mean, that's my Mac haul. I mean, it's nothing too ginormous, nothing overly impressive, but they were things that I wanted and I needed and splurges like all of the pigments. But I mean, I've been wanting to start doing a Mac pigment thing, but I didn't want the full sizes and those are 10 bucks each which is really worth it. And the Mac Christmas thing was 35 for five of them. So I wasn't gonna complain. Um, I think actually only one color is in the permanent line. I'm not actually sure about it. I never looked it up. I know none of these are doubles because I double checked. Rose I know is in the permanent line. Tam, I think is in the permanent. Whisper of Pink. That's the glitter. Actually, I think all of these might be in the permanent line of full size. Whatever. I'm excited and happy about it. And once they come out with these in an actual travel size permanently, I, I will probably be very happy because I don't have to spend the money to buy them. But they should make all of their pigments the travel sizes. These are perfect. I mean, I've done bridal makeup before many times, and I'll tell you now, something this small compared to the normal size is more user-friendly in my kit compared to other times. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I hope you guys liked it. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!